Hello everyone and welcome back to Groovy Movie Makeup. Today I'll be showing you how to achieve two different looks from the Netflix original Russian doll. The first look will be Maxine's look from the party scene that we must have seen over 20 times throughout the show, and the second will be a special effects look from the first time Nadia dies when she gets hit by the car. For Maxine's look, I started out by filling in my brows and making them bold and arched. Then I took some black liquid liner and lined the inside of my inner corner. Then using an electric blue face paint and a thin pointed brush, I applied the blue in a rounded shape on my inner corner. I then lined the outer part of my upper lash line, then placed a dot to map out where I wanted the wing to end. I then attached the dot to my lash line, then from the tip of the wing I drew a line coming in about halfway above the eyelid. Using black liquid liner, I placed a small dot underneath the center of my lower lash line. I then curled my lashes and applied mascara to the tops only. I then applied a blush pink liquid lipstick. And that's it for Maxine's look. Now I'll show you how to be a dead Nadia. First I contoured my cheeks with bronzer. Then using black eyeshadow and a small flat brush, I created some thick winged eyeliner. Like Maxine's, from the tip of the wing I made a line going to the midpoint of the lid. I used a blending brush to blend out the lines. I also blended the black underneath my lower lash line. Then I curled my lashes and applied mascara to the tops and bottoms. For the lips, I used a neutral brownish pink color.
For the main cut across her face, I used a small strip of toilet paper and cut a line down the middle of it. I applied liquid latex to the back and placed it going from the bridge of my nose to my cheek. I cut off any excess toilet paper. Then I used liquid latex to blend the edges of the toilet paper to my skin. After the latex dried, I applied translucent powder to get rid of the shine. Then I applied foundation on the toilet paper to match my skin. Then using black liquid liner, I filled in the inside of the cut. Using red cream paint, I colored the area around the cut. Using a stippled sponge and red paint, I dabbed around the wound. With a darker purple paint, I stippled down the center of the cut. Then I applied blood paste to the inside of the cut. Then I dabbed some excess blood all around the wound with my finger. For the rest of the cuts on her forehead, I mapped it out with black liquid liner.
I applied blood paste on top of the lines. For the final touch, I applied some dark purple paint around the cuts to give them some definition. And that completed the look. For more groovy looks to come, subscribe to my channel and follow my Instagram. See you next time.